I used to be a fighter and I still got hands. They slow, but if you get up on me real close, I can still knock your monkey ass out. Though. What? Are you sure? It looks like a physical battle between Steve Harvey and Cat Williams is on the horizon in their ongoing animosity. The big shift happened last week when Steve publicly declared he was going to fire the comic. And he tried not to sound rude, oh my goodness. However, what are you aware of? You can't frighten Cat with all his bellicosity, and it appears that Cat just shot back at Steve, daring him to come get what Harvey desired. As everyone knows, Cat Williams has never been a fan of Steve Harvey, and at the beginning of the year, at Club Shay Shay, he made it very clear with an explosive diatribe. And until you humble yourself, you will forever be kinged by- Whatever good you may have heard about Steve and his generosity, Cat made it very clear earlier this year that Mr. Harvey is not a saint. The two comedians have long been at odds, but when Cat called Steve out straight for being a thief and a sellout, things got really bad. Steve didn't particularly appreciate it, but at the time he decided to keep quiet to project an air of superiority over small talk and accusations. But anyone who witnessed his most recent outburst filled with resentment and fury know exactly how much Harvey was hurt by Kat's comments. In essence, what he was saying was, I'm slow, but if you get close, I can still knock you out. I would tend to your shorty. I'll extract your perm straight from your cranium it may seem harsh to you. But bear in mind that when Kat accused Steve of copying jokes from other comedians and even of taking Mark Curry's entire act and passing it off as his own, it caused quite a stir in the comic world. The same Steve that went to go watch Mark Curry do his whole sitcom and then stole every- Steve's whole career, according to Kat, has been built around the ideas and jokes of other talented people. Those who watched Harvey early in his career know that he is a total scammer now that he has his own show. At one point, Williams even subtly implied that Steve lacked skill and that the entertainment business wasn't interested in him. You're not suited for a career in film. Every year, 30,000 fresh screenplay entries are received by Hollywood. Not one of them asked for a black guy who is a country bumpkin and looks like Mr. Potato Head many people awaited Steve's response to these allegations and Kat presented everything in a fair manner, as many others have also stated. In reality, Harvey turned out to be a total fake. An arrogant and narcissistic man who was exposed for taking advantage of others for his personal benefit. Even the entire Kings of Comedy, according to Cat, was Steve's act. Besides, Steve seems to have already gotten enough exposure. However, here's the catch Cat wasn't going to make Harvey's work any easier he was going to destroy his reputation, which he believed was based on lies. Williams went on to accuse Steve of making up his homelessness in an effort to gain sympathy from the public. Harvey, according to Kat, has never been homeless in his life. Steve earned a lot of respect for his achievements despite his personal hardships, but it now seems that his story was made up to appease people and amass more cash. For years, Harvey would talk about his miserable living conditions and how sad they were. A week is really the maximum you can do this, he remarked. Three years went by in this instance. I had hoped that things would get better even though they were at an all-time low. But at that very moment, Steve was earning a lot of money, doing shows five times a week, and making up a story about being homeless. Harvey didn't appear to realize that his falsehoods would eventually catch up with him. According to Kat, Steve constantly rewrites history in an attempt to boost his stature and win over the public. Harvey appears to be done. He first said nothing, since he is widely known for brushing off any rumors that are made about him. But when additional business insiders joined Cat and endorsed his account, Steve lost everything. This is getting serious since it appears that Harvey's pride was not the only thing hurt by Cat's comments his reputation was also harmed. Is it possible that someone who was sincerely looking into Steve's past actions found that William's assertions were true? This could help to explain Steve's erratic behavior and his physical threats toward Cat. It seems that everything you do has an effect, but Kat and Steve's narrative could finish in a very depressing way. Steve's associations with questionable individuals are well known to us, so expect a physical altercation if you come in Harvey's way. Steve does his best to maintain his honor, but Kat still has the support of the general public. Look at the remarks that have been made about this. One person said, never liked Steve Harvey shows false. Cat Williams is right, he is a con artist. Another said, They've been beefing since Jay Fox Radio, the foxhole. The situation has persisted for years the whole story is about to blow, 
because Kat isn't going to back down from his strong charges against Steve and his apparent betrayal. Many started arguing with Kat after he outed Steve Harvey in the interview. They attacked Steve on social media, calling him out as a con artist. Steve decided to keep quiet and pretend nothing had happened in an effort to look unfazed. Instead of replying, he posted a video in which he talked about how hate mongers will always say nasty things, and you should never give them the benefit of the doubt. Someone is seriously attacking me right now. Hey buddy, are you really after me? I'm just waiting to see what God will do because they have to continue on. Nothing can go in the way of what God has in store for you by claiming that the only thing that makes people jealous of a person is when they do something that draws critics. Steve tried to reassure the audience that he knew how to deal with them. He probably expected the initial buzz around this interview to go down quickly, but he had no clue it would go viral. There was too much truth in what Kat was saying. At first, Steve didn't display it. When addressing his critics, he remained anonymous. However, the comedian's lies came to light, and what happened next was terrible for him. When the truth about Steve started to come to light, people could finally see him for the resentful and jealous guy he really was. Add to this the long-standing and subsequently confirmed by other sources story that he attempted to copy Bernie Mac's iconic character from Ocean's Eleven. Cat Williams was the first to reveal that there was more to the story of Steve's betrayal, even if it was first just whispers. Steve declined to address these claims, but Ed Lover, a close friend of Bernie Mac, shockingly disclosed that he had heard the identical story directly from Bernie Mac. Steve finally made the decision to reply after letting Kat's interview to be made public for a full seven months, demonstrating that there was cause for concern over his innocence. By then, however, neither his weak response nor his evasive discourse about God's hate and retribution had impressed anyone. When Steve went on another rant about haters in a recent interview, it appeared as though he was specifically addressing Kat. None of his critics were doing better than he was, he vowed, and if they brought him up again, he would go back to how he had done and destroy them. Cat Williams is not crap. Let me be clear. I can't say it on the radio because I don't use my platform to put people down, but when I go live, I'll blow your expletive. However, if you think Cat was terrified, you don't know anything about the man. Since bullies have surrounded him since the beginning of time, he is considered to be ready for anything life throws at him. Indeed, but as many others on social media have pointed out, Steve has been waiting for the right moment to act. The host of Family Feud has now totally lost all credibility, despite the fact that Kat's interview was broadcast many months ago, since so many people are endorsing Kat's story. Steve gives a thieving laugh, and Kat is blunt. Kat's many talents include making us love him for it. Give it more, Steve, my brother. Another remarked, It ain't nasty if it's the truth. Just saying I hate how Steve has treated Bernie, I'm putting my money on Kat. People are now wondering why Steve suddenly confronted Kat and whether he's planning to follow her covertly while everyone else is busy with other things. And what are your thoughts, gentlemen, on Harvey's handling of this feud? Considering Steve's questionable past, do you think things will ever go physical? Don't forget to check my other videos and feel free to leave your comments below.